the members of parliament who lost family members to Nazism, two members of my family, my uncle and my grandfather, whose names are commemorated on the Cenotaph in New Westminster, BC, are part of the scars of this history. These same members of parliament feel betrayed right now, as do members of the Jewish community and of other communities who are victims of the horrific violence of the Nazis. Bien des égards, the président et les visages de cette chambre. In many ways, the speaker is the face of this house and represents our joint commitment to democratic institutions and principles. The speaker has to be above reproach in that role. Although we appreciate the apology made by the speaker yesterday and in his statement today, we regretfully and sadly say that that's not enough. Unforgivable error, which puts the entire house in disrepute. disrepute. And unfortunately, I believe a sacred trust has been broken. It's for that reason, for the good of the institution of the House of Commons, that I say, sadly, I don't believe you can continue in this role. Regrettably, I must respectfully ask that you step aside. I ask for the good of Parliament that you step down from the role of Speaker. Wait a minute. Do, uh, do I agree with... Thank you for that comment. Do I agree with Peter Julian on something? Like, I don't uh, agree with his preamble whatsoever, but I do agree with the fact that Rhoda needs to step down. He is still the Speaker for some reason. What I don't agree on is uh, the idea that Rhoda misled the House of Commons into thinking that this guy was some innocent dove yeah. of a veteran. Are you people dumber than I think you are? Like, I don't have a very high opinion of parliamentarians. I used to think, like in my more naive younger days, that these were sort of the smartest people in the room and they really understand the processes and, and optics and all those things. And the more I know politicians, the less uh, of a high opinion I have of them. I think they're absolute idiots. They would jump off a bridge if Rhoda told them to, I guess so, because we just so trust him. He's the forward face of the commons. No, you guys, if somebody says, um, this guy fought the Russians, one of you should have said, oh, mm, mm, who is fighting the Russians? Nobody even thought that. Nobody even, not, nobody thought that? I guess so. I guess they're just that dumb. It's like they're drones. And I, it's, they are dumber than I think they are. That's what I learned. Sheila, I think on this issue, and maybe I stand to be proven wrong, but it's only a matter of a day or two or three before blackface uh, demands the resignation of Rhoda, for, for self-serving reasons, to make this go away, to say to the opposition, okay, look, uh, he's gone, okay, are, are, are you happy now? Um, I think it's only a matter of time uh, because this is going to continue to fester. This is getting international headlines, our audience should know. Yeah. This is being talked about over the world and it's with a degree of uh, revulsion and uh, morbid laughter, if you will. They can't believe uh, blackface could be this stupid. So let's see what happens. This story is not over by a long shot. Once again, Justin Trudeau and his liberals have made Canada the international laughing stock, this time by bringing a member of the Waffen SS Nazi death squad to Canada to give him a standing ovation in the House of Commons to call on the man responsible, Anthony Rhoda, the Speaker of the House of Commons, to resign or be fired. Please visit firerhoda.com.